Hello everyone and welcome to the John Day QA channel. I'm John and I'm taking you through my first video of 2014 and I'm re rebranding my videos under the title of Afterclass. So new graphics, new video style and this one I'm leading off with is one about connecting web parts and this is again a request that's come in. Now this is quite a straightforward one to show, quite quick to um, demonstrate but very effective if you've not seen these before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two apps and I'm going to place those apps onto a home page using web parts. But the clever thing about it is I'm going to select the item on one web part and it will then filter values on a consumer web part. And by doing that I need to have a column sitting in both apps that has identical data. Okay, so I'm inside my site and what I have at the moment is I've got a documents library. I've just used the default document library that comes with a team site and I've placed some documents in there but I've also displayed the title column so that you can see I've put a title against each document. And What I want to do is I want to provide the users with a list where they can raise any errors with the documents, if there's any spelling or grammar errors. So I've put together an issue tracking list and this is called amendments but what I need to do is relate the two apps together. In order to do this I need to have a column that is sitting inside both. For this example I'm going to use the documents title column so when they are making an amendment to suggest they will need to specify which title of document the amendment relates to. So I'm going to add that column in now and there's many ways you can do this. I'm actually going to provide a lookup column style. So I'm going to get it to look up to documents library and display the title column. And I've got no other columns that I want to enable on display, just the title one that's fine. And now I'm going to populate this with various example amendments. So there's a few amendments that have been put in and I've just added a couple of uh, comments to those amendments. So what I want to do is display the document library on my home page and have that document library displayed on the left and then on the right hand side I'd like to display the amendments but the clever idea is if I click on a particular document library I want it to show only the amendments associated with that document. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure that I have a view, a simple view, for the documents library and for the amendments that are appropriate. So I don't want too much information. So I'm going to very quickly go to the document library. I'm going to create a, a view, just a quick view. And all this will do is display the title. Simple as the view name. and just going to keep it nice and simple. All I'm going to do is ask it to display the title and maybe the version as well, so people know what version this document is. There you go. So there's the simple view of the documents there. And for the amendments, same sort of thing. All I'm going to do is ask it to display the amendment title and who it's assigned to. So again, create a new view. call it simple as well and again just show the issues title who it's assigned to and that's it nice and simple nice and quick click OK so I have the two views I want for my parts all I've got to do now is place those two web parts onto my home page so I'm going to edit my home page click into the left hand cell 
I'm going to insert. I'm going to use app part because again, app parts are the apps that you have within your site. It's nice and quick. I just pick the documents from there and click add. And there it is. And what I'm going to do then is going to edit the web part and change the view to my simple view. Okay, that's the first one done. Same thing applying to the second page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that site feed. I'm just going to remove. I don't need that, so I'm going to remove that very quickly. So I've got a nice simple page, and then I'm going to add my amendments to the right-hand side. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab, Add Part, Pick Amendments, and Add. And there's the web part. All I want to do again is just edit the web part, changing the selected view to my simple view. And just accept that warning, click OK. And I've now got two views sitting on the page. But at the moment, if I save my page, those do not tie in together. I can't select a document and then have my amendments filter and only show me the amendments relating to that document. So what I do is I edit the page. Now what I need to do is put one of these web parts into edit mode. So I'm going to use the amendments one on the right hand side because that's the one that consumes the information from the documents library. It consumes the title and uses that to associate the amendment with a document. So I'm going to edit the web part, and this brings up the web part panel, as you'd expect. However, what it also does, if I go back into that drop-down arrow again, you'll see this time it displays a, a connections menu, which wasn't there before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I need to filter the data. And to do that, I'm going to filter the values from the documents web part. So remember, one of these would be the provider. In this case, the documents is the provider of the information. My amendments consumes the document title and uses it to filter the information. So I'm going to choose connections, get filter values from documents. And the box is now asking me for the, the column in the provider that is joined to the column in the consumer. In other words, what is the key column? What's the column that makes the two tables relate? So in the provider, in other words, in the library, it's the title column. And in the consumer, it was the related document column that I created as a lookup. And that's it. If I click Finish, I've now joined them together. You can see I've joined them together. If you look into my first provider web part, there's a set of double headed arrows now that I can use to select a document. So if I go to the right hand side and click OK and save my page, this is ready to test. And the way it works is I just pick one of these documents that has one or two amendments, such as the using the ribbon. And there they are. There's my two amendments for that document. If I go to another one, you can see the amendments changes. And that's how you connect and filter on two web parts.